If you're trying to learn the jaw harp and you're trying to take your skills to the next level, I'm going to be sharing some more advanced techniques, more than just the basic techniques so that you can get a better feel for the instrument. Now, if you are a beginner, I would make sure and put this video down for a minute and go check out this video where I cover the basics from all the way from holding the jaw harp to making the basic sounds. That's a great place to start and then come back here and learn some of the more advanced techniques, which build off of what you already have learned. So first off, um, the mute transition, you can use this and it's a really cool technique um, where you, if you're playing muted, which means to play it against your lips rather than your teeth, you can transition to playing with against your teeth. If you're careful, you can make that transition and then incorporate really both sounds into your rhythms. Another interesting thing to do is to roll your tongue and you can then incorporate it into a rhythm. So if you just roll your tongue, that sounds awesome, but being able to incorporate it into a rhythm is even cooler. I like to do something really interesting where you can use your diaphragm as a way to even accentuate that tongue roll even more. So I'm just pushing with my diaphragm, making it that you know common sound we've learned about already, and using my tongue as a way to kind of make a crescendo. Really awesome technique that can make your sound a little bit more interesting. Another really cool thing that I think is, you know, there's so much potential is actually singing through your jaw harp. Um, this is takes some practice and it sounds, you know, a little interesting, you know, so it may take some time to, you know, convince your friends that you're the most cool person for knowing this technique. But if you try it, um, you can start by singing the note of the jaw harp. So mine is, is, uh, sounds, is sounded to a G. So what if I try singing that note? It feels interesting and it sounds interesting, but it's not as interesting as it could be. So what if you start singing that note just a little bit off? I'm gonna go up a full step. And then another step. So as you can see, I was singing the note and then I went up a full step, just like ha 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 And I even started shaping the sound with my tongue and that's an example of how you can even, you know, shape that sound even more. a cool technique that is can really make your song a little bit more interesting okay so another technique that um, I call the dog pant is you know it's you know pretty standard affair for a lot of advanced playing and if you've ever pretended to pant like a dog you're just way ahead of the game here because that's exactly what you're doing <laughs> now the more shallower and um, quicker those breaths can be <laughs> That is, that's what you're going for. So just like a dog does, or like a, a little dog does when they've just went running for a little bit. <laughs> and once you get the hang of that, you can do things like. Um, really interesting sound and it's tricky to, to get control of so you might don't be frustrated with yourself if you don't get it immediately it takes some practice for sure 
Another uh, technique is to do the double strike. Um, so instead of just striking towards you, you can strike both ways. And then you can further modulate the sound by changing the shape of your tongue. It's tricky to get that rhythm to be very constant and consistent, but once you have it, it's, a, it's an awesome sound that you can use. Another thing you can try is using a mute strike. And what I mean by that is if you grip the, the harp, and every harp is different, you might have to adjust to do this for yours. But you, if you're able to grip and leave a finger free so that you can strike the harp to mute it, um, you can make some interesting rhythms. This is tricky to get a hold of because it, the tendency is to try and strike it at the same time as you pluck it. Which you can do, but it kind of doesn't have much of a sound. The trick is if you want to kind of give a cutoff is to strike first and then, then mute. So that gives a, you know, it gives the hearer uh, the impression that it's being cut off, you know, sharply. So I'm going to put some of these all together into a more advanced rhythm and I'm going to use my bass harp because it sounds better in this particular rhythm. And I'm going to use some of the, the things that we've learned today. And this rhythm comes from a game called Rayman or Origins. Awesome jaw harp in one of the songs. And I don't know who the harpist was, but they, they're just tremendous. And I tried to imitate it as best as I could. Um, but it's a really fun rhythm to learn. I'll go slow. <laughs> So moving that up into a faster pitch. So as you, as you can see, we're incorporating several of those techniques. We're using some sharp inhalation. We're using some of the muted strikes to kind of give that sound some interesting. And there's just so many possibilities that you can do when you combine all of these techniques that we just talked about. If you like this video and you are wanting to learn more about the jaw harp or about other instruments, since I'm going to be learning several different instruments, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching.